Hey everybody, welcome back. This is episode six of uh, the great unboxing project for this abandoned comic book collection uh, that I am now in possession of. Uh, yeah, so today we're going to do a couple more boxes, see what we can find. We've been finding some crazy stuff lately, some really old stuff. I think the last episode we found a couple things from like the 40s. Um, no telling what's in this one. But we're going to open it up and find out. It's a little bit light, so I'm kind of a little bit worried about that. Like, it's not a full box. But uh, this is going to be box seven. So let's get to it. All right, so... Fantastic Four, number 218 from Marvel. So this is from 1980. Number 250. Featuring X Factor. 258. 259. 260. 261, 262, <laughs> it's so funny, hey guys, I know it's assistant editor month, but let's not do anything silly on the cover, okay, love and kisses, John, <laughs> back when Marvel used to be fun, you know, back when they just didn't care, it was just awesome, now, not so much. 263. Is that 262? Yeah. 264. 271. 274. 279, 280, 281, oh yeah, who was she, was she Malice, did she turn into Malice, 282, 283, 284, 285, 286, oh, that was the uh, Phoenix Return Saga, wasn't it, With, from X Factor? Collector's Edition, 30 pages, no ads, nice. 287. 288, Secret Wars 2 crossover. Two issues. 289. 290 for the Nihilus. 291. 292. 293, 294, 295, 296, two covers, 297, 298, 299, 300, very nice, 300, 
302. Three oh three. Three oh four. Three oh five. Three oh six. Three oh seven. Official Marvel Index to Fantastic Four number one. Index number five. Index number six. Index number seven. Index number eight. Index number nine. Index number 12, Living Sphinx. Annual number one, number 17. Annual number 18, The Wedding of Black Bolt and Medusa. Double-sized annual number 19 with the Avengers. Giant size annual number 20, The Fearsome Fate of Franklin Richards. Uh, the Atlantis Attacks crossover, yeah. And, uh, annual number 22. Number one in a four issue limited series, Fantastic Four versus the X Men. Number one. Two copies. Number two. Number three. Yeah, you're doing right. And number four. And okay, then we oddball Blackthorns three and one number one from Blackthorn Publishing. Never heard of it. But there it is. Okay, here's Thor number three oh four from nineteen eighty. Thor three twenty eight. Three twenty nine. Three thirty, three thirty one, three thirty two, three thirty three with Dracula, three thirty four. 335, six, 337, Beta Ray Bill. That's not his first appearance, is it? I don't think that's, I don't think that's his first appearance. Might be, 338, what was that, 1983? That might be his first appearance. Ooh, Simonson's. Oh, I love it when Simon, Simonson's run on Thor was awesome. Walt Simonson, he just did such a fantastic job. Really defined that book for a long time to come. That's number 339. 340. I always like Simonson's signature too, because if you, if you see his signature down here, he uh, he always felt like a like his signature should look like something. So when he designed it back long long time ago, he made it look like a dinosaur. So it's an S I M O N S O N. So it looks like kind of like a uh, it's supposed to look like a like a 
uh, Brachiosaurus, Brontosaurus, whatever. And uh, I always, I always loved his signature. And his style is always just so cool. 341. Three forty two, three forty three, three forty four, three forty five, Malekith, three forty six. Three forty seven, three forty eight, three forty nine, three fifty. I love it when they hit those marks. Three fifty one. Nice run here. 352, 353, the finale of the Surtur Saga. Man, this is taking me back. I'm starting to recognize some of these covers. Hella, 354, 355, 356. 357, another issue, 357, 358, 359, 361, dang, skipped it. A nice little run though. 362. The Executioner. 363. Curse. Yeah. 366, 367, 368, The Fate of Boulder, 369, 370, 371, 372, 373, 374, with X Factor. Fighting the Marauders? What year was that? 1986? Yeah, that probably would have been the uh, Fall of the Mutants. 375. Well, no, because. Angel wasn't with X Factor when Fall of the Mutants went down, so that's an homage to it, though. Man, I remember that vaguely. 375, 376, 377. 378, 379, Fing Fang Foom, 380, 
I always like Thor with the uh, with the beard. I don't know why, I just always did. 381. 382, which is the 300th anniversary issue. Uh, yeah, because up in yeah, because the first issues were uh, tales of suspense before it became Thor. Three eighty three, three eighty four. I remember that one. Three eighty five. Three eighty six. Four hundred. Kind of skipped ahead there. Big break. Oh, annual. Okay, king size annual number nine. I'm like, whoa. Annual number ten. Annual number eleven. Annual number twelve. Annual number 13, annual number 14. So these things got a little bit of a bend in them because of the, because of the uh, loose stack in the box. That's why if you're gonna pack these boxes, man, you wanna, you wanna just throw everything in there, put something in there so that they're all packed up together because when they slide, they get that bend in it like that. And uh, you really just don't want those because those will hurt the spine. Cool, nice Thor runs, man. Hulk. Starting off with number 299. And 300. Very nice. Especially abnormally large size issue. <laughs> that was 1984, by the way. 301. 302. 303. I'll tell you what I'm looking for right now. I, I'm hoping I'm hoping this gets up into the Todd McFarlane run. Um, I know that the Amazing Spider-Man we ran ran across the other day uh, had, had uh, McFarlane in there, and McFarlane was on Hulk before he was on Spider-Man. So I'm hoping we'll run across some of those, especially especially the Wolverine cover. That's classic. 303. Hulk 304, Hulk 305, Hulk 306, Hulk 307, Hulk 308, nice run, Hulk 309, Hulk 310, 311, 312 with the Secret Wars 2 crossover. 313. I remember that issue. 314. The Leader. Abomination. Modoc. Juggernaut. Rhino. Ooh. 315. 316. 317. 318, 319, 320, 324, gray skin, nice. And there's the 25th anniversary, 325. 326. 327. 328. 329, nice runs. 
334. Three thirty five, three thirty six with X Factor, three thirty seven with X Factor, three thirty eight, no, three, I'm sorry, what? Three thirty seven to three forty seven, sorry about that. Three forty nine, three fifty, three fifty three. Oh, guess not. Dang. Annual number twelve, annual number thirteen, annual number fourteen. Annual number 15. Incredible Hulk and Wolverine number one. That's a, uh, yeah, representing the first appearance of Wolverine. Cool. So box number seven, I believe, is uh, a hit. Uh, Thor, Fantastic Four, Hulk, like all the, like, iconic marvel title lines and uh, just some great books in there so i'm not disappointed at all some nice runs um some nice covers some nice artwork nice uh creators in there awesome just awesome that's so cool a lot of marvel in this one so this is going to be box number eight uh let's get started uh, starting out with uh Official Marvel News Magazine, the Marvel Age number seven, number 12, number 18, number 19, 30, 31, mean BAMPS. <laughs> that was a great storyline. Marvel Age 33, 37, 38, 44 with the new universe, 46, 53, 54, double size annual number one, number two, and number three. Marvel Fanfare, number one. Oh, I love Marvel Fanfare. This is cool. This is number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And if I remember right, this was a bi-monthly magazine, so the stories were always really good. Number five. Number 11, number 12, number 13, number 15, number 16, number 17, number 18, I remember that cloak and dagger. I love cloak and dagger and dagger. Number 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. This is what I, this is what I always liked about Marvel Fanfare because every issue was like this one-off. You know, it was never like this ongoing. Every once in a while, they'd have like these little ongoing things, but only like two or three issues maybe. But everything was like kind of standalone, like here's a special story about this character kind of thing. So they always did some really odd stuff in there. 24 is really good. 25, 26, 27, 28, Alpha Flight, 29, 
29. 30 with Moon Knight. 31. 32. And 33. Nice. Here's the Marvel Saga. The official history of the Marvel Universe number one. Number two. This is from 1985. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Number twelve. Number thirteen. Number fourteen. Number fifteen. And twenty two. <laughs> All right, Marvel Tales. Number one fifteen. This is nineteen eighty. 116, 117, 129, 133, 134, 175, 136, 138, 142, 143, 147. That's right, I believe Marvel Tales was always a, uh, they were like reprinting some of the earlier issues and doing them again. Number 150, 151, I think that was one, yeah, 154, 155, 156, 157, 158, 159, 160, 161, 162, 163, 164, 165, 166, 167, 161, what? And kind of mixed up. 135, 168. I remember that cover. 169. It's funny how you you run through these things and you haven't seen them in forever, and like you're pretty sure you've seen these before, but then all of a sudden that one jumps out and you're like, oh yeah, I remember that cover. That's just crazy. 170. 171. 172, 173, 174, 187. Great time to get Craven with the movie coming out. So it's pretty cool to see Craven popping up. 188, 177. Man, these are all messing with my OCD again. 176. <laughs> 178, 179, 180. They can't all be collector's item classic, you know? 181, 182, 
183, 184, 186, 189, 190, the classic Spider-Man no more. 191, 192, 193, 194, 195, 196, 197, 198 with the Iron Fist, I love an Iron Fist, that's Steel Serpent, yeah, 202, oh, skipped ahead to 202, Arcade, always fun, and 204. Nice. So some so some odd uh, titles in there with uh, Marvel. These were not your typical Marvel titles. Um, so it's kind of cool to see them. Marvel Age, which was really more of like a information magazine more than anything. Marvel Fanfare, which was always like um, specific storylines. Marvel Saga, which like retold origins and stuff like that. And then Spider Tales, which retold all the original Spider-Man stories. So, uh, nice box, nice, nice box for that, but only half through it. So let's see what else is in here. Wow. Marvel team up number one. Marvel team up number two. This is so cool. Number three with Mobius. Or Morbius, sorry. I always do that. I don't know. I always say Mobius when I mean Morbius. Too much heavy metal. <laughs> the magazine. Also the music. Number four. Number ten. With Kang the Conqueror. Number fourteen. It's just so weird seeing these old comic books and now all those characters are on screen. You know, Kang, Submariner, like, <laughs> Craven's coming. It's just, it's so funny. Even Watcher, like, I see him over here on the other one. Number 31, Iron Fist, he's on TV. It's just so funny. Back then, like, you never would have thought it. Number 47. Number 57 was Silver Samurai and Black Widow. Silver Samurai, he was in X-Men. I mean, in uh, Wolverine. 62 with Miss Marvel. 63 with Iron Fist. Sixty-four. See, now if I'm right, we just saw that Marvel Saga. I believe that Marvel Saga that was with Iron Fist and Steel Dragon were reprints of these two issues right here. I mean, not Marvel Saga, I'm sorry, Marvel Tales featuring Spider-Man. Uh, those were reprints of those two issues. Which was a cool way to like learn the backstories without having to find the back issues. So. That was always kind of cool. That's one reason why I collected Marvel Tales for a while. Captain Britain, number 65. 66, yeah, see here, the, see that one was on Marvel Tales as well, Arcade. 
Number 78. Number 85. with Ant-Man. One of six. One of seven with She-Hulk. One fifteen with Thor. One sixteen with Valkyrie. They would team him up with anybody. Of course, 117 with Wolverine. 118 with Professor X. 122 with Man Thing, who we've now seen on TV. If you ever saw, if you saw, uh... dang, what was the show that the one shot that Disney Plus did? Night of the Werewolf, I think that's what it was. Back in, in Halloween, in October. The main thing was in there. Daredevil, 1.3. Beast, 124. Teams up with The Watcher in 127. Special Christmas issue. One twenty eight. 129 136, 137, Aunt May and Franklin Richards versus Galactus. Star Fox, 144 with Moon Knight, 145 with Iron Man, 146, 147, 148, 149 with Cannonball. 150. 150. The last Marvel team up Spider Man and the X Men. King Size Annual number one Spider Man and the X Men. 1976. Number two, 1977, nine, 1979. Number three, Power Man and Iron Fist. Number four, with Moon Knight, Iron Fist, Power Man and Daredevil. That's an annual. Paul 
Bones of the Purple Man. Annual number five of The Thing, Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, and Quasar. They just stuffed them all in there. Like, who can we throw in there? <laughs> Cloak and Dagger and the New Mutants. I remember that one. That was a good one. Number seven with Alpha Flight. Marvel Team Up Index number one. Index number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Marvel two in one thing in Wonder Man. Number 78. Number 96. And two in one annual number two. Wow, what a what a haul in this one, man. That's wow, just I'm blown away by some of the books in that stack. Having number one in there is just number one, two, three, and four is just awesome. So cool. And we're not done. Although this could get a little funky here. This is the Marvel Universe, the official handbook of the Marvel Universe. I collected this because I wanted to know everything. You, man, that was like 1982 too. Like it's so outdated, but man, it was so cool getting that information and reading through it. Like I just absorbed everything in this thing. That's why I'm such a Marvel fan because I just, I just absorbed everything Marvel, especially when the, I mean, I collected every single one of these Marvel Universes handbooks. So it's awesome to see it. Number one, number two, number three, Number four, number five. Can you imagine if they did this thing today? I think this one was like 24 issues or something when they do the Book of the Dead and everything. I can't imagine how big it'd be today. Good thing it's online. Six, seven, eight. And you can't see it, but all these, all these, all these uh, issues had wraparound covers. So all these all these characters wrapped around to the back. Number nine. Interesting, they got Rom on there because they don't even own the rights to him anymore, but uh, that he was licensed. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Book of the Dead and Inactive, number 14, 15, Thing, so the thing about the Book of the Dead and the Inactive, if you look at that background, that white with black, if you have the, uh, so this is book one, this is book two. And uh, if you folded these out, like it made like skulls behind it. And I believe these all like, like flowed together somehow. I can't remember exactly how it went. They may have been individual, but they had like these giant skulls behind them, which is really cool. 15, Book of Weapons, Hardware, and Paraphernalia. Yeah, then they had the Deluxe Edition. This is from 1985. Collected all these two, man. Three, one, two, three, four, five. And all these were wraparound covers. So you had every, so you had uh, all these everybody running in the same direction. You can see where like they're cut off, and uh, like gargoyle and Destrad and over here, you know, and, you, and they would pick up over on the next one, and it was just it was so cool the way they did it. You could have one long strip of Marvel Universe. 
six, seven. It's great that they have the, this, their entire runs are in here. The entire collections are in here. This is awesome. Eight, nine, 10, 11. And if you notice, I don't know if you notice this or not, but if you look through, you see all these, um, let me go back a minute here. So you have Reed Richards right here on number eight, but his arm is actually stretching back through nine and through 10. Let's see his arm stretching back through here, through 11, through 12. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Stilt Man here. Still running. 13. 14. And then, and I it must have disappeared behind the cover in 14. 15. Marvel Universe Update 89. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, Book of the Dead, 16. 17, 18, that's awesome. So those three actually should have gone in behind, uh, behind the update. Yeah, 15 and then 16, 17, 18 for the Book of the Dead. And then the Marvel update, 89. So that's cool. That's awesome. That entire run, all of the all of the handbooks. I don't think any, I, don't, I didn't see anything missing in any of these. So that's completely cool. And just I mean, even today, you can go back and, and run through there and just read some awesome stuff. So yeah, that's that's really cool. That's really awesome. So this, this, this box was amazing. Just a bunch of Marvel craziness in here. Um, the Marvel team up one, two, three, and four. Just stunning. Can't believe that's in there. Marvel Age, Marvel Fanfare. Uh, first couple issues are there. And, uh, and then the entire Marvel Universe compendiums. The handbooks, which are just so cool. Just that, that should be a part of any honestly if you're if you're a Marvel fan even though they're outdated um, that should just be a total part of your collection just because of the, the solid information that's in there so that's that's so cool and the artwork on those covers was just uh, it was just awesome the way they put those together they really put their heads into it so it's pretty neat so, there you go that's uh, box eight and uh, I think that was, was that box? Yeah, that's box eight. And, uh, yeah. That's cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, come back next time. We'll do it again. We'll do two more. Y'all have a good one. Peace.